Hello, welcome back to Hostify, my name's Alex and today we're going to be looking at how the Ubiquiti Solar Point works. In a few previous videos on the channel, we have looked at various installs I have undertaken with the Solar Point, both of which are linked in the description down below. However, in this video we're going to be taking a look exactly how the Solar Point works and where you would use one. The most common use case for, is for WISPs, or Wireless Internet Service Providers. WISPs are especially prevalent in the US and they typically have to get internet to very rural locations, without a connection to the grid. For a lot of WISPs, solar is the only option, and while there are possibly better solutions out there, for small deployments the Solar Point and Solar Switch provide a very compact solution. The Solar Point shares a very similar footprint to the EdgePoint R8 and houses an integrated 4 port network switch and 24 volt passive period out on all 4 ports. For more information about why you book to use a 24 volt passive PoE, see the blog post link in the description down below. What makes the Solar Point unique is that it's an all-in-one device, combining an easy-to-use GUI for checking the status of your deployment, stats collection when adopted to the USB controller, and an MPPT charge controller for simple charging of the batteries. One of the limitations with the Solar Point is the 10 by 100 network switch, but there is an option a 24 volt DC out, which you could use to power something like an Edge Switch 10 XP. The DC port can also support up to 40 watts of power. The other limitation comes to the batteries. Uh, Ubiquiti have some limitations in terms of what batteries you can actually use. Uh, they only support SLA, AGL and AGM batteries with no support for lithium ion batteries. And this is the case with pretty much all of Ubiquiti's power solutions. The only exception I can think of is that the UISP power has a lithium ion battery built in, uh, but this only supports lead acid batteries on the external for external charging. You can use a 24 volt battery hooked up or multiple 12 volt batteries hooked up in series to make 24 volt overall. In terms of what solar panels you can actually use, Ubiquiti advises a range of voltages between 10 volts and 60 volts with no explicit recommendation of what water to go for. In my setup I used one 100 watt Renergy panel and have the option to double this up without much issue really. This panel is rated at 12 volts. In the Solar Point GUI, we have a weather prediction service which uses the inputted location to predict when the device will be able to stay online. When it is sunny, it will also show you in real time how much power is being drawn by the device plugged in and also generated by this solar panel. Automatic priorities can also be set on the ports and the Solar Point will automatically turn them off once the voltage on the battery gets to a certain predefined level. That's going to do it for this video looking at how the Solar Point works. If you have any questions, please let us know in the comments down below and we'll do our best to get back to you. If you want to learn more about Hostify, visit our website hostify.com. We do hosting for Unify, UISP and TP-Link Amada. For network consulting, we have Hostify Pro and we can help with network projects big and small. Visit the website hostify.com forward slash pro and hire an expert today. For any questions about Unify, UISP or TP-Link Amada, let our support team know support at hostify.com and our team will be happy to help you out. Once again, thanks for watching this video. My name's Alex and we'll see you again next time.